Hello, I'm Vincent from the Cutsetion team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the data settings of a simple CFD case with a graphical user interface of Cutsetion. So before continuing to watch this video, I invite you to install Cutsetion. If you need help to do so, you can have a look at the video on this subject on our YouTube channel. The case we use in this video consists of a simple two-dimensional junction. The flow enters through a hot inlet into a cold environment and then bottoms out. This tutorial focuses on the preparation of the code Saturn computations. If you want to have more information about the different variables, please refer to the user manual available on the code Saturn website. So first of all, we need to create a study with the code Saturn command and we're going to use the create functionality. So in order to create your study, you simply have to type Saturn create s the name of the study. Here it will be simple junction and dash c the name of the case. Here it will be case one. So now we have the simple junction study and in this study we have three folders. And in order to continue, we need a mesh. We will use the mesh that is already available in your Cosaturn installation. It's in the folder examples and the name is domcomer.med. Now we have a mesh in order to start, so we only have to launch the graphical user interface of Cutsaturn. To do so, we go in the case one folder and in the data folder. Now we only have to launch the graphical user interface. It's now possible to do the data settings with the graphical user interface. First of all, we are going to import the mesh that we just copied. So we select downcomer.med file. And it's here. So we're going to do a standard computation, but as you can see, it's also possible uh, to only import the mesh or to do the pre-processing or the quality criteria steps. We're going to continue with the standard computation. So I invite you to save regularly your study and you can directly click here. Let's now focus on the calculation feature menu. So here we want to simulate an incompressible single phase flow, so we will let it as it is. And in order to add a turbulence model, we will choose the K epsilon linear production. As you can see, there are also a lot of uh, different models that are available. Now, in order to add a thermal model, we will select the temperature in Celsius. So we are not going to use any uh, body force in this simulation, so we let the default value in this case. Let's now switch to the fluid properties. In order to set values for fluid properties, I invite you to take a look at the tutorial that is available on our website. So for the total pressure, we will let it as it is. Also for the reference temperature, we'll modify the density. Also the viscosity and the specific heat. And the thermal conductivity will stay at the reference value. So now we can switch to the initialization step. So we need to click here because the initialization is defined on all cells. If we click on initialization menu, we will select 
all cells menu. First of all, we will keep the zero velocity by default. And we will also add an initialization for the thermal part. And here we will set it to 20. Let's now switch to the boundary conditions. In order to define the boundary conditions, we are going to use the fact that groups of boundary elements are already defined in the mesh. So here we are in the SMesh module of the Salome platform. And so we're going to define an inlet boundary conditions um, with the group one. An outlet boundary conditions to the group 5 as we are simulating uh, almost a 2D case we are going to define symmetry boundary conditions to the front face and also to the back face and for the rest we are going to apply a wall boundary condition Let's now return to the graphical user interface of CutSaturn. In order to define the four different boundary conditions, we have to create four boundary regions. To do so, you need to click on Boundary Zones menu and to create four different zones. The first one will be an inlet and we will apply it to the group one. The second one will be the outlet for the group 5. So for the symmetry, we are going to apply it to the group 8 and the group 9. But please remind that you need to type 8 or 9. So for the last boundary condition, we want to apply a wall. We will apply it to the groups two or three or four or six or seven. Now we are going to specify the different parameters for the different boundary conditions. To do so, we will click on the different boundary conditions. So for the inlet, we are going to define the directions. So the normal directions to the inlet, we can use directly the automatic one. We are going to specify the coordinates. So in this case, we are going to specify the X direction. We will modify the hydraulic diameters for the turbulence to 0 0.5. And for the thermal part, we are going to specify the prescribed value of the temperature and we'll set it to 300. So for the outlet, we are going to keep the zero prescribed outgoing flux. For the symmetry, we don't have anything to set. And for the last one, we are going to stay with the smooth wall. And for the thermal part, we're going to stay with the zero prescribed outgoing flux. Let's now switch to the time settings. For the time settings, we are going to use the steady time step option. We are going to set the relaxation coefficient to 0 0.9 
and we are going to set the total number of time steps to 300. Let's now switch to the numerical parameters. So if you click on the equation parameters menu, uh, you can see all the different options for the solver and the scheme. We are going to keep the default values and we are going to apply a clipping to the temperature. The minimal value will be set to 20 and the maximal value to 300. Let's now switch to the post processing step. So here you can select the output listing in the log file and we will keep the output listing at each time step. Now if you click on the writer you will be able to specify the number of results you will have in the result file. So here we are going to specify the fact that we want to have a results at each time step and for the rest we are going to keep the default values. So now we only have to launch the computation. To do so you simply have to click on run computation. So once again we will keep the default values. It means that uh, we will do the computation only on one processor. So save case and run calculation. So here we can see that the computation is going on. And once we will see the post processing step, we will know that the computation is done. So here it's the case. I'm going to show you how to do the post processing with the open source software Paraview. Paraview is also available in the Salome platform. So first of all, you need to open the result file. To do so, you need to go in the result directory and to select the post-processing folder. So here you have to select results fluid domain. So in order to be able to see interpolated fields, we need to apply a first filter named cell data cell data to point data and now we can apply a slice the slice will be on the z direction So here we are able to see the pressure field. If we want to see the temperature, we have to choose TMC. So here we have the temperature field at the first iteration. So now if we want to see also the velocity field, we can add a glyph. We will adjust the scale factor. And here we can see the velocity. If we want to change the coloring, we can, for instance, choose a solid color. And now we can see the temperature field at different iteration. For instance, it iteration 10. You can refresh the data range by clicking here. So here we can see the evolution of the temperature. 
I hope you find this video useful and invite you to test and to use Godsaturn. Don't forget to take a look at our website. You will be able to download Godsaturn and access documentation. Thanks for watching.